I wanted to make this video talking about the uh, the horrible tragedy at Virginia Tech, and um, I'm not making this as a tribute video. I'm not making this um, so much in memory of those people, but more to uh, go and sub excellency or whatever your name is and anybody that commented on goats or sub excellencies videos um, I believe that this Virginia Tech shooting incident this horrible tragedy that is a tragedy has become nothing more than uh, a soapbox for you to stand up on and tell everyone how much you don't like prayer and um, I think that you're belittling everything that happened. I think that you are completely uh, diminishing the fact that this tragedy occurred and that people in America understand that it occurred and they are saying that this was a horrible tragedy. Uh, okay, you, you talked about Iraq a lot. I think both of you had points about Iraq. Maybe not, but people have become somewhat insensitive to what is going on in Iraq because it has been going on for so long. Now, is that right? No, it's not. Okay? And please, do not take me as saying I don't support the troops. I do. And I pray for the troops all the time, and I hope that they come back in one piece. I hope that this war can end. I hope that we can withdraw our troops from there. But until we withdraw our troops, I pray that God will be with them. Okay? But now you say, why are you making a tribute video to this? Because there's hundreds of thousands of people that have died, or over 100,000 people that have died in Iraq since the beginning of the war. Is their life any less than these people at Virginia Tech? No, it's not. And in fact, if you search... All you have to t type in is Iraq War, or Iraq, or Iraq Tribute, and you will find thousands of tribute videos, you'll find thousands of articles, and thousands of things saying God bless the troops, our support is with them, thousands of groups that are sending money, clothing, food, uh, the, the things that are essential for the people in the army to make it. Uh, we, we also put a lot of money towards care packages to go to Afghanistan, to go to uh, other places in Iraq that needed food because of what had happened there. And not, not even just our troops, but these are also people, other people, Iraqi citizens, Afghanistan citizens. And then you go on to say stuff about Africa. Well, your biggest concern in Africa, or the biggest concern in Africa, is AIDS. AIDS is an epidemic, an uncurable epidemic. We do not have a cure for it yet. It is horrible. It's absolutely horrible. The pictures that you see, the, the, the videos that you see, which there are out there, thousands and thousands upon thousands of videos. But those videos are terrible. And I am not diminishing that fact at all. What I'm saying is that AIDS is an epidemic. AIDS is something that we can't do anything about right now. Hunger, hunger is something that we don't have a, an, an answer for right now. Yes, it's great. If you want to go and donate money to uh, an organization that promotes getting food to these third world, third world countries, then do it. There are thousands of organizations out there, and if you want to find one, all you have to do is type it in. This person doesn't have to put a, a link on the end of his video to some donation or some organization that accepts donations. So, I think that you guys are completely belittling the people and diminishing the fact that this was a national tragedy. And also when you talk about hunger, there are thousands of people starving in the US. Thousands of people in America dying every day from hunger. <clears throat> now, your final points, what your videos led up to, your meat of the argument is 
Why are you offering thoughts and prayers to these people and not sending them money? Well, to tell you the truth, right now, someone like me, I can speak for myself. I don't have any extra money. I'm sorry, I don't. I would love to be able to send these people money. And I would love to be able to you know, start a foundation for, or an organization or whatever for these people so that they could get the things that they need. You know, get the help that they need. And I think Virginia Tech is setting a lot of that up. They're setting up counseling for the other students. They're setting up things like that. But 90 to 95 percent of all Americans are theists. So you saying that prayer does not matter to these people is a rude and completely ignorant, irrational, and completely false idea. These people are comforted by the fact that other people in America are understanding that this is a tragedy. Not understanding what they feel. We're not saying that we can understand what they feel. I could never understand that. I have never had anybody close to me killed in that way. But we understand that it is a tragedy. And we are offering our prayers and our thoughts to them. And saying that 9 out of 10 Americans, at least 9 out of 10, possibly 9.5 out of 10 Americans, are theist, means that there was probably, out of those 33, there was probably around 28 to 30 were Christians. So, in that being said, having thoughts and prayers directed towards those people would help them a lot. And now in a theist view, thoughts and prayers help an extreme amount. So you to get on here and make this into a, a soapbox to talk about prayer and to talk about whatever else you wanted to accomplish with this video. I guess talking about how this isn't a tragedy, this is simply just something that happened and that it doesn't, it doesn't compare with what's happening in other parts of the world. You know, it may not compare on that large scale, but it does to the people that were affected by this. So I think that you guys really need to <laughs> show some compassion for once. Show that you aren't so irrational and illogical when thinking about these things.